what is going on the game, Mephzus here, and welcome back to Skylanders Pops Adventure, where last episode we completed the 19th chapter of the game, Lava Lakes Railway, and this is how we are going to be completing the 20th chapter of the game. But to do that, we have to talk to the Weapons Master over here. Greetings, Skylander. You have awakened us from our 10,000 year slumber. We are what is left of an ancient civilization. The Archean Weapon Masters. We understood the connection between magic and technology. We are the keepers of many secrets. We have waited for one to come, to pass our secrets to. That which you pursue is near. Are you prepared to cross the great chain of time? Yes. Yes, I am. Good. New discoveries await you. The eternal source of magic was the original source of all creations, but as we uncovered its secrets, its power could not be contained. You must prove your worth if you are to be trusted, with the energy that flows through all things magic, the Quicksilver. Unlock the gate to the vault. Okay, so <clears throat> we are chasing down the final eternal source of the game, the eternal magic source. We won't be able to get that until Tuesday. And those of the air element are stronger in this zone. Well, who do we want to play as? I keep wanting to use Lightning Rod, but we never get the chance to use him. But at the same time, we've also used him a lot recently. Not in, in small doses, but a lot. Whereas we haven't played as you in a long time. <laughs> Alright, let me just remind myself really quickly what your attacks are. Ah, I see, so hold on. Let's see if we can... Wait, hold on. Uh, someone commented on one of my Skylanders videos, because after I upgraded... Uh, what's it? After I upgraded Whirlwind in the episode, someone informed me of what I was doing wrong. Okay. Um, Cute Free Rose comes in on the sixth episode of Skylanders Spires Adventure. You're supposed to shoot at a Tempest Cloud and shoot the rainbow to create a chain. Ah, there we go. I thought I did that. I thought I did that in the video, though, and it wasn't working. Okay, well, I, I guess I was just doing it wrong, because... There we go. That works. Okay, now we know that that's what I was doing wrong, or at least... Okay, and there's no Z ability for you. All right, just just wanted to remind myself what your attacks are before you move on. Anyway, we won't be able to actually get the, the, the Eternal Source until Tuesday, but we will be able to acquire the Quicksilver in this episode. So we're going to walk around here. These are going to what we call our Archean Blasters. They're projectiles or electric style charge. They're stationary turrets that fire little electric balls at you. They're pretty easily dispatched. In fact, I'm going to try to use a chain reaction and take you. No, not like that. Do it, do it. There we go, I got the chain. Can we do it again? Do it again. And we got him. All right. That went very well. Now there's only one of you. We're going to charge the other one. And done. In no time whatsoever. Okay. Now that's not going to be a tri Actually, no, there's going to be a, the Nashers up ahead right here. Nashers are fire imps except they're blue. The hottest flames burn blue. So they're pretty pretty easy to take care of them. They go down just a single one of Whirlwind's little rainbow attacks. And there's a treasure disc that's going to be hiding behind this lock puzzle right here. Thank <laughs> you. 
And the treasure chest is not going to be yours, it's going to be yours. To defend it all. There is a reason why I'm giving certain the certain Skylanders upgrades and certain Skylanders I'm choosing not to upgrade. Not that I'm choosing not to upgrade, that I'm choosing to give the upgrades to someone else. It should be fairly self-evident given who I've upgraded, but in case it's not, then you'll be able to find out next Wednesday when we tackle the final level of the game. Anyway. Uh, what we're going to want to do now is we're going to smash through this brick wall on the right. There's going to be an Archean Defender behind it. Reroots power from the shields to an attack. So basically the shield protects from his attacks and only lowers it if it, if it has to uh, swing that hammer. So when he when he charges up the attack is when you want to strike him. And I didn't, I didn't bother wasting a chain reaction there because it would have taken too long to set up. I will use one here to try and do that. And I'll, you know, I'll try to do it again just to get it from a distance. Alright, I almost took out the... Turrets, alright, come on, charge up your attack like that. And can I get some hits in? Yes, I can. Enough to take you out, in fact. Okay, so basically you just want to step back when it charges up the attack, and then from there you can get a uh you can get you can get some hits in. And we should be able to take at least one of these. Alright, that's one down. Let's get a chain reaction going if we can. Alright, we didn't get the chain reaction going, and that's everything over here taken care of. Okay. There's going to be some treasure over here that we can collect, like so. And I believe there's going to be some Nashers around the corner. No, okay, there's going to be another set of Blasters. All right, well, no, okay, in that case, we just grab the key and defeat these guys. No trouble whatsoever. They're definitely not that big of a problem. Okay, so I believe there's going to be some another pair of Defenders that are going to rush our position as we come back around here. Here. Yep, here they are. Alright, back up so that they can't get any hits in. This I might actually use a chain attack for here. Let's, let's rev it up, shoot the cloud, and then shoot this. Did that do any damage? Oh, it took both of them out. That that chain attack is really powerful. If you if you can set it up, apparently that, that is a really, really powerful. Alright. So now, ah, here are the Nash that was on it before. And of course, a couple more defenders. Let's get the, let's get the cloud ready so that we can do that straight off. And one of them's already down. That 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 chain reaction thing is really freaking good. We made a really good decision when we chose to upgrade Whirlwind with that attack, apparently. Uh, anyway, now that that's taken care of, we can move right along here and grab this if, if you needed it, but we don't, so, you know, that's fun. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be some defenders that are gonna show up right as we open up the door. Let's throw this out and get the chain going, and you're done. No worries whatsoever. I mean, another, another lock puzzle, 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 ha! Another lock puzzle on the left with another treasure just behind it, but we are going to take these guys out long before we get anywhere near that lock puzzle. So there's, uh, I thought there was gonna be one down, but the last one was not. Alright, we can get behind them and get some damage in there. One's down, two's down, three down. This, this is going very well. Alright. Next up, another lock puzzle.
Once again, we give this treasure chest to Legendary Spyro. The treasure belongs to you, my good fellow dra me, dragon. Collect the treasure chest. Okay, that should leave him with a fair amount of coins. Now we're going to put World 1 back on. Okay. Now that's in here, we're gonna head up the stairs and follow the path, and we are gonna be introduced to an Archean Ultron, which are very similar to the sleeping machines we saw. Remember from Moltskin Mines, the sleeping machines that would drill through the rocks around us? Well, basically that, except that they have, uh, they fire rockets into the air, and then they, then they have laser eyes that they can target with. So here comes the rockets, and here come the laser eyes, so that's fun. No worry though, we can just get around behind them and spam the attack until they go down. Although I might have to chain, I might have to chain a, chain a rainbow attack here to get some extra damage in. And I missed, I didn't miss that one though, that's good. And you're done. The key for this gate is through the teleporter. Well first we're going to grab Wrecking Ball Soul Gem. We found a Soul Gem, new powers available, enemy slurp for Wrecking Ball. Would you like to preview Wrecking Ball? Sure, why not? I know, I'm gonna grab some extra money over here so that we can get whirlwind. Hopefully, we can get whirlwind some by the end of the episode. And then, other than that, now we need to step on this teleporter. Head over here. Magic Spell Punk. Don't get zapped by the reanimated orbs. Okay, so Magic Spell Punks will launch a little metal ball in the air, like so. And if you get close to it, it'll start zapping you. But if you don't pay any attention to the ball whatsoever, it doesn't harm you. And also, the, the metal ball is also kind of, you know, indestructible, so there's no sense in even bothering with it to begin with. Alright, so you guys are going to give me slight problems. Let me just chain a rainbow off really quickly. And, yeah, we get one, we'll get one more in. And you're done. No worries whatsoever. And Legendary Spyro. To defend it all. And three locks later, the, crush, the chest is ours. Thanks for all the money, we should be able to upgrade you quite a lot before the end of the episode. And that's all three treasure chests for this level, and that was also the key that we were after at the beginning. So, after we take out the enemies and grab the key, actually I think the teleporter picks even if you don't grab the key, but once you grab the key, head back over here to step on the teleporter that will have now magically spawned, and lifetime. So, say goodbye to Warwind for now, and who do we want to use? Um, so, the, the, the predicament that I'm in now is... Do we go back and start using characters we haven't used in a really long time? Or do we use- I feel like we should use characters that I want to upgrade a lot. Now you see? Now you don't. And that is, of course, Stealth Elf, because... The, I think the mantra that I decided, or the, the way that I'm doing this, that I've decided... Is, uh... Once you- Now that I've shown everybody off, I'm not gonna bother going through everybody again. I'm just going to focus on upgrading the Skylanders that I really want to get upgraded. Stealth Elf is one of these people. Uh, anyway, there's going to be Nashers and Magic Spellpunks that appear here, and then once you are... Once you're done dealing with all of them, then we can step on the teleporter right here. A few more Nashers, including some uh, Defenders and an Archean Ultron over there in the back corner. I recommend dealing with the Defenders first, and then dealing with the... Ultron last. Although I might get, oh, I might get domed. I almost got domed, but I didn't though, and that's what the matter. Okay, can we get behind the here? Wait, wait. I might be able to pull a deception and trick them into not hitting me. Just like that, just like that, and you are done. So Stealth Elf is so good. 
She's, she's so she's so good. I love her so much. Okay, so you could step on the teleporter, or we could go through the life gate that just opened. And obviously, we're going to do that. And step on this teleporter over here. Head to dimensional rifts. Okay. So I believe if you fall off any of these platforms, it's just going to send you back, send you to some kind of solid land, and then you can just swim back. Okay. So this is this is just a matter of th th this 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 whole section is basically a a water platform maze. So oh, I almost just fell in there. All right. So what we're going to do right here is we we have to step on this platform, and then get off, and then get off on that central block. Like so, step on right here. Like so, and then we, we're gonna wait for it to stop on that central block because it does, you, you'll notice it does stop right here. So we're gonna get off here, like so, and then we we gonna wait for these two blocks to form a direct bridge across. So this one will appear, and then we can get on here. Oh, I fell. That that's tough. So we're on one. We gotta wait for these two to align like so, and hop on. And now we are cleared to move over to these blocks right here. And now from here, it's a, it's a simple matter of just waiting for the platform to come here and moving from one to the other to step on the circular button you'll see that's hiding over there. So it's going to move one platform to the next and step on this button like so. Okay, so now we got to work more. Wow, we got to make our way back towards the start. All right, once you get back here, you want to step on this platform again and then get off on this right block right here and then dash away across and now again this is just a matter of waiting for the block to come to you stepping onto the middle platform if you're feeling risky and then stepping on here and now here we are safe to wait for this to come over here and then hurry over to the present to get our hat but our hats found you want to head now no we do not but we're not done yet we still need to get the legendary treasure so let's head on back to the same platform that we headed to before. All right now we're gonna wait for this block to to appear. So step on it, and then wait for it to take us down a little bit. Wait for this to approach, and that's there's a split second time because you, you need to step off of this platform as soon as the block as the block to the right comes. So I recommend just holding right, so that there we go. I made it. You basically have to walk across the corners in order to get over. You you walk from one corner to the next in order to get over here. So as the left one starts to move away, you would walk from the bottom right-hand corner of that platform to the top left-hand corner of this platform. And that should get you across over here to the Legendary Treasure. Legendary Treasure found roller skates, plus a thousand gold. So now we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Okay, we can't fall, unfortunately. So what we're going to do instead is just slowly work our way back over. Right, because I don't really feel like dealing with these platforms anymore, we're just gonna head over here to where we found the present at. And we're going to step our way onto the teleporter to get out of here quicker. There we are. Okay. So now we can step on the teleporter and finally we can return to the gate all the way back over here. We're going to have to put Rowan back on for the sake of air. And finally we can freaking use this key. We Europeans once ruled all of Skylands. We guarded the eternal source of magic to prevent future generations from discovering our secrets. Beyond this gate is what remains of our defenses. The Quicksilver Vault lies ahead. It will only open when the three energy beams are aligned with the three seals. Okay, activate three beams. Well, before we do that, we're gonna head down the chain and then move our way over to. All fired up. Which we'll be able to find past this wall right here. So all we gotta do is just bash through this wall. You're gonna find some defenders and an Ultron over there because they don't feel like dealing with them. We're just gonna dash past the you. You, I said. The ethereal anvils. Let's go. Okay. First one requires us to push the top block left once, and then we have to move back around to push this bottom bottom block up once, and then push this prism left twice, like so. Now we gotta push this prism to the left once, the right block back down, and then the 
top block over here to the right. And I head down the chain. And the story skull is waiting for us right here. Skylanders have a bond with their portal masters that is unbreakable, but they are not slaves. They have chosen to serve their portal master and do so eagerly. When Skylanders are defeated in battle, they instantly portal back home where they can rest and heal. Okay. So now what we need to do is walk around to the left side over here. And what we need to do is push the block to the left of the top prism upward once. And then push to the this block right twice. And then push this prism right once. And this block down here up once. And this prism to the right. essence of all magical being, the Quicksilver. So apparently my audio just wasn't recording for that entire last section, which is lovely. Anyway, as usual, the only thing not completed is completion. If don't worry, I'll be getting that on my own time. Quicksilver, to bind the magic within the core of light. through the core. I can't believe it. Who knew that there are still remnants of the Archeans? We did. Oh, um, well, of, of course you did. <laughs> uh, please, we must find the eternal magic source. It's the final source we need to rebuild the core of light. Can you help us? Yes, we can. 
I can't believe I'm speaking to a real Archean. I thought you'd all disappeared. In some ways, yes. But in others, we have always been here. But for now, you will find the eternal source of magic locked away in our ancient armory, where you will also witness the full expanse of our civilization, of our power. Would you like to go to our armory now, Skylander? I would ordinarily say no, but here's the problem. I don't know if this is true, because when I played this game as a kid, I marathoned this entire last section of the game, just so that, because I was really, really excited to finish it as fast as possible. However, I've been told that on the Wii version of this game, you have to immediately play, you have, you have to say yes here, or else the Weapon Master will not talk to you. I have no idea if that's true, I don't know why that would be true, and I certainly don't know how that would ever get through any sort of playtesting, but I have to be cautious about this and say yes just in case, because I do not feel like replaying through the entire game. It's fun, but I have I have a schedule to keep, so I'd really rather not spend my entire weekend re-marathoning through the first 20 chapters again. Anyway, with that in mind, I'm ending this video off here, and then on Tuesday we will upgrade all of the Skylanders a whole heck of a lot, gearing up for the final boss. So thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, see you in the next episode, and until then this has been a game, and as we're signing off, I hope you have a fantastic, horrible day, and I'm going to have some more Skylanders Fire's Adventure. Goodbye!